Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael. You guys are watching IDB. I am installing iOS 17 on my iPhone right now. I am super excited to show you everything new in this update. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. So here is iOS 17. I finally have it installed on my iPhone 14 Pro. The first thing I did was set the new wallpaper. Every year we get a new wallpaper with every major iOS release, and this is the new default wallpaper for iOS 17. I am a big fan of this, so let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If I go into settings and then software update, you can see I am indeed on iOS 17, and Apple has also made the text inside of this software update section a lot bigger. The first new feature I wanna show you in iOS 17 is called Standby. Essentially, this is a landscape sort of nightstand mode for your iPhone. And we have a completely new section for it inside of settings right here. If I click on this, you can see we have a few different options that we can change for Standby. So I'm gonna get my phone mounted in landscape mode so I can show you exactly what this feature does. So this is called Standby. This is Apple's new big feature in iOS 17. Whenever your phone is mounted in landscape mode and charging, you can have really useful information like this. You have a bunch of different pages that you can swipe through. We have three right now in the developer beta, but this may change in the future. This goes for everything in this video. No matter what I show you, it could change in the future because this is still in beta one. I can swipe to the right to see my photos, and this is going to cycle between a few different photos. And then I can swipe again to see this view. This one is probably my favorite. We can swipe between a bunch of different styles. So here we have a really colorful bunch of clocks. We have the world clock. We have a pretty cool analog looking one. And then we have a basic blue one with some information on the side here. So you can just imagine how useful this is going to be if you have your phone mounted, especially if you have an iPhone 14 Pro with an always on display and it's right beside your bed. This is going to be really cool and it can essentially replace a nightstand clock. And when you are viewing the photos in standby, it's also going to show the location that photo was taken in along with the date at the bottom as well. And in this view on the far left, you can actually change what you see here. Each of these pages are swipeable. So you can see I'm able to change from the calendar to the reminders. I can see my calendar and the weather. You can also change this side as well. So we can see the stocks, we can see a really big calendar, we can have an analog clock, and you can essentially set this up however you want in standby mode. This is really, really cool. And I think this is going to be the number one feature that most people enjoy in iOS 17. So out of all of these clock styles in standby, I think my favorite is the one at the very bottom. I really like how playful and colorful it is. I also like how the alarm is subtly showing at the bottom right hand corner. And you're also gonna notice that when the minute changes, you get a really cool animation. So as soon as it changes from 303 to 304, right about now, you can see the animation is really fun and playful. You can also see you get that with the alarm time as well. And we also have a bunch of new features inside of iMessage. The first one is when you are inside of iMessage, you can now search for things a lot better, including multiple items. So this is really useful if you're trying to find a specific thing inside of iMessage. There's also going to be a feature where if you have a bunch of unread messages, this is going to be especially useful in a group chat. There's going to be a little arrow at the top right hand corner, which can take you all the way up to the point where you last read the message. Another really useful feature in iOS 17, as you can see right here, is audio messages are now transcribed. So if you don't have time to listen to an audio message, it's going to do the processing on device and it can tell you in plain text right in the bubble what that audio message said. And you're also gonna notice in iMessage in iOS 17 that your apps look a little bit different. So we no longer have the App Store icon on the left-hand side. Instead, we simply have this plus icon and we can see all of our iMessage apps right here. I think this UI is a lot better and you can scroll to see even more apps you can use. Inside of this app view, you can see we have another new feature called check-in. So this is really useful if you wanna let your friend or family member know when you have arrived somewhere. So you know when you're leaving somewhere and your family member says, let me know when you get there safely. Now you no longer have to send that text message saying I got here. Instead, you can just use check-in and you can use iMessage to let them know when you arrived. So just for an example, here is what it'll look like before you send a check-in request. It's not going to work because you need two devices on iOS 17, but this is about what it will look like when it's available. 
We also have a bunch of new stickers in iOS 17 messages. If we go to our app library, we can click on stickers and now you can send any emoji as a sticker. All you have to do is pick up the emoji and you can drop it on any message in the thread. And you can also click on this custom sticker icon and you can create a new sticker right from inside of messages. If I click on new sticker right here, it's going to recommend some photos. Now again, we are in beta right now, so it looks like it doesn't let me create a new sticker. But once iOS 17 is completely out of beta, you're going to be able to create stickers of any photo in your library. And we also have a pretty cool UI for viewing and requesting someone's location in iMessage. Again, if we click on this plus icon and then tap on location, you can see we can share or request someone's location right from here. So of all the new features in messages, I think the two biggest ones are transcribed audio messages and the completely redesigned app library iOS 17 also lets you have something called contact posters. So I'm here on Apple's contact just because I don't want to give away someone's phone number. But in the next shot, I'm going to jump to my own contact and show you what it looks like to create a contact poster. So here I am editing my own contact poster and you can see I can choose from a bunch of different options. If I click on edit, you can see we can choose from an image, an emoji, we can have plain text, and we can also click on this blue plus icon to create a new one. This is really similar to how you can create a lock screen as well. So let's create a Memoji for my poster. I'll just choose my own Memoji like this and then we'll strike a pose like that and then we'll click on next and then done. And then whenever you get a phone call from this person, it's going to appear like this on your iPhone. So this is a really fun thing that you can do to really personalize your experience when receiving phone calls. Another really cool feature in iOS 17 is called live voicemail. Now, for some reason, I can't get it working on my iPhone, even though it shows up inside of settings, again, because this is a beta. But essentially what this is, is if you choose to send a phone call to voicemail, you're able to see a live transcription of what that person is saying in the voicemail in real time. So if you remember that feature I just showed you in messages where it transcribed the audio messages, that is pretty similar to this feature where you can see in real time what the person is saying on that voicemail. So I'd say this feature is pretty similar to what Google is doing with their call screening feature. And another really cool feature in iOS 17 is something called video messages for FaceTime. So as you can see there, I was trying to FaceTime myself. And when you call someone on iOS 17, you'll now have the option if they miss your FaceTime call to record a video and send it as a message. So this is the screen you're going to see if they decline your call or if the call times out, you can choose to record a video and send it to them essentially as a video voicemail for FaceTime. And another really cool feature in iOS 17 is for AirDrop. We have two new really cool features for AirDrop. The first one is called Name Drop. If you have two devices running iOS 17 and you wanna share your contact info with each other, all you have to do is simply hold your iPhone near each other's and it's going to exchange your contact card with that person. And the second big feature for AirDrop is instant sharing. So if you have a whole bunch of items selected in photos, for example, once you have them selected like this, instead of going to the share sheet and choosing AirDrop, from here, all you have to do is simply hold your iPhone up to another iPhone to initiate that AirDrop. And iOS 17 also includes a much improved keyboard. We have some really good improvements to autocorrect in iOS 17. So let me type out a sentence and show you what I mean. I'm gonna say, hope you have a good drive and stay safe. So I'm gonna type out good drive and stay. And as you can see there, the keyboard knew that I was going to say that. And all I have to do to fill in that gray text is simply tap the space bar twice to fill in that word. So you're gonna notice this throughout the entire system. The keyboard is going to get the context as to what you're typing. And sometimes it can fill in up to four or five words. So this is going to make typing a lot faster on your iPhone and autocorrect is now a lot smarter in iOS 17. Another really awesome feature that I literally just discovered as I was poking through iOS 17 is inside of Apple Music. The first thing is that when you're playing a song, you can see the now playing tab at the bottom looks a little bit different. And then if you tap on it, you can see Apple Music now supports animated artwork right in the now playing viewer. So when you're viewing an album in Apple Music browse features, this was always a thing. However, the album art in your now playing screen was always still until now. So with iOS 17, even on your now playing screen in your library, you can get albums to animate. So I'll skip through a few different songs until I can find another animated one. So here I just found one. Let's go again, see if I can find another animated artwork. 
I'll keep skipping. So here's another one. So this really looks cool when you're playing songs in iOS 17. It really brings a lot more life into Apple Music. And speaking of music, another very small feature I just found is inside of Control Center. You can see that the AirPlay icon is now a lot larger and way easier to click on. A great update in iOS 17 is for Siri. So we no longer have to use Hey in front of Siri to trigger the voice assistant. So let me show you how this works. Siri, what's the weather today? This is so much better and it's going to save so much time when using Siri. As you can see there, it was doing the second feature I was going to show you, which is you can now interrupt Siri. So let me show you how this works. Siri, what's the weather today? Expect partly cloudy how about in Las Vegas? Daytime temperatures looks like it will be partly cloudy in Las Vegas. So even when Siri was talking and responding to me, it's able to hear my voice and you can interrupt Siri in the middle of her response in order to get more information iOS 17 also finally supports the option to download Apple Maps to use offline. Now again, I'm in beta, so I can't seem to get this working. If you have the beta installed on your device, let me know if you're able to get it working. But when iOS 17 does come out to the public, you'll be able to download Apple Maps to use offline. And iOS 17 also includes interactive widgets, finally. So here, right from the home screen, if you wanna interact with any of these widgets, you can simply do it before even opening the application. I have a few reminders here. If I wanna check them off, I can simply tap on them right from the home screen. Before, in iOS 16, I'd have to tap on the widget to open it and then take off my reminders. But here in iOS 17, I can simply check off my reminders right from the widget on the home screen. So that is everything new in iOS 17. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and tell us what your favorite new feature is in this update. For me personally, I think my favorite feature is standby. Just because when my iPhone is mounted on the MagSafe charger at nighttime, I can finally actually use the screen of my iPhone for something. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a like and also subscribe to IDB as you're not gonna wanna miss all of the iOS 17 content we have coming up for you. My name is Michael, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.